Hello and welcome to my YouTube channel. I am Espoir Duvid, and I've noticed that I've gotten a lot more attention to my channel. Thank you so much to everyone who subscribed and who's commented and who's liked my videos. I really appreciate it so much and I don't know what to do with all this attention. <laughs> like some people would say that 14,000 subscribers isn't a lot, but I, it's a lot to me. It's a lot and it means a lot and thank you so much. I will dedicate myself to honoring your subscription and giving you high quality content. Which is why the game I'm going to play today is... I love you, Colonel Sanders. Who picked this game? You did. You picked out this game. No, I didn't. Why would I play this? It says here that you said, and I quote, the colonel looking kind of fine. I hope this doesn't awaken something in me. End quote. <laughs> they don't need to know that. Headphones. Old reliable. Never recollect if I've ever mentioned old reliable before. These headphones are very old. And I have new ones. I have new ones. But my kitty ears don't fit on the new ones. So I like to wear the old ones. <laughs> Why is this so well made? Why is this so well made? <laughs> In case you didn't know, uh, I Love You, Colonel Sanders, a finger licking good dating simulator, is an actual game that was actually licensed by KFC, you know, back when they were doing their crazy uh, different um, advertisements, which I like. I appreciate that. I like that they got a bunch of different actors to play Colonel Sanders. And yeah, this, this too is an advertisement, so I'm very sorry that I'm playing a gigantic advertisement. Welcome, Chef. Before we get started, tell us your name. I am Espoir. Ow! Feels like I'm getting punched in the ears. Uh, also, this game is free if you'd like to try it for yourself, but I would really appreciate it if you stayed and watched me suffer through this. So yeah, I am Espoir. It means hope in fr- oh my gosh, those biscuits. Mmm, <laughs> those biscuits. I have not had breakfast. This is probably a bad idea. Biscuit, biscuit. This is far too well made. <clears throat> you sleep softly as the morning sun casts a warm glow through the window of your modest student apartment. The world is peaceful and serene. You could stay in this moment forever. That scared the badoodles out of me! Or you could wake up now, 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 your first day of culinary school is no time to sleep in. Smack the clock and up and at him! Throw the clock out the window and stay in bed forever. Stay in bed forever. <laughs> you slept through the school year and gave up on the once-in-a-lifetime opportunity to meet Colonel Sanders. Alright. Game over? Already? You might not be cut out for this. Let's try that again. Warm glow, really nice. Alarm clock, get up! I thought the alarm clock in other games was bad. That, that is horrible. Why would you do that to yourself? Lying in bed, you stare at the ceiling, thinking about everything that awaits you at the prestigious University of Cooking School, Academy for Learning. Your mind begins to wonder. Who will be there? What will you cook? What should you wear? Time begins to fly by, and you find your imagination getting away from you. You'll need to take this seriously. You allow yourself to daydream a bit, thinking about the future. No, we gotta, we gotta, we gotta get in there. Come on, we gotta go, we gotta go. We gotta, we gotta see Colonel Sanders and find out why this game is so well made. I'd better make sure to arrive prepared for the first day. You burst through your morning checklist. Teeth, brushed, hair, combed, pits, deodorized. Nothing can stop you now. Lipstick, on, wig, on. It was Colonel Sanders' simp folder, tucked away neatly. You confidently grab a biscuit, shred out the door, and head off to class. Mm, biscuit. 
Just what you needed to get your blood flowing. Stop making fun of me! I like the biscuits! Standing in the quad, you gaze upon the magnificent University of Cooking School. Academy for Learning. That seems like a mouthful, but oh well. Here comes your lifelong best friend forever, Miriam. Oh. She's the most adorably awkward person you've ever met, and you absolutely love her for it. Good morning, Espoir! Are you excited for the first day of the rest of our lives? So kawaii! Actually, I'm... Because I sure am! Excited! A little nervous! Okay, okay, a lot nervous! She just sounds like Mako Ma Mankan Shoku in my head from Kill a Kill. Mako-chan! What the...? It's just that! This morning I made breakfast for myself, but when I ate it, I couldn't taste any love in the food. What if I'm no good? What if I fail? Aww. Classic Miriam, raised by MasterChef parents, she's always held herself to a very high standard. I'm sorry, new favorite character. Ever since we were little babies playing together and you rescued me from that quicksand box, it's been clear to me that you've been the most loving, caring person I know. You're going to do great. <laughs> With University of Cookie School Academy for Learning's famous three-day only <laughs> three-day only semesters. <laughs> I'm afraid of being left behind and never catching up. A sweet girl, Miriam has always had a flair for the dramatic. This summer, she got so nervous about her first kiss that she chipped a tooth practicing on a mannequin. Oh. Should you prep talk her, or change the subject to give her some relief? I'm gonna prep talk my cute little best friend. Remember last month when we saw the fortune teller and had our tarot cards read? Hmm. The lady with the mask who gave me nightmares? I've been trying to forget. I know she looked spooky, but she was so sweet, and she told you that you were destined for great things. Remember that card with the fancy looking tower? And that other card featuring the handsome fellow in a red suit? Um... Um, actually... The tower's not that great. <laughs> the tower's not that great. If anyone knows uh, much about tarot cards, you can correct me. Please correct me if I'm wrong. But the tower is not a good card to draw. It's, it's not good. The death card, it's not that bad. The tower, bad. And that other card featuring the handsome fellow in the red suit. Wait, do you mean Beelzebub? Do you mean the devil? Do you mean the literal devil? What does the devil card mean? Uh, I'm a sham. I need to, uh, to, to cash in my tarot card knowledge card. I've been waiting for so long to meet a handsome fellow I could call my own. And I'm sure you will soon. In no time, we'll be graduating. And you'll be delighting the world with your heartfelt cooking in no time. As you talk Miriam up, you can feel her nerves begin to ease. You know what? Maybe everything will be okay after all. And if not, at least I have these killer bangs. It's pretty nice bangs. Can you believe I cut them myself? You can definitely believe it. Ah, well, they look okay. Uh, I cannot believe it. Before you can get another word out, you're rudely interrupted with someone smacks your books and custom engraved measuring spoons out of your hands onto the ground. Oh no! <gasps> Oh no, it's it's a soon soon. Eh, Ashley? Okay, clearly she's evil if she spells her name like that. My apologies to any Ashleys who spell their name like that. It's Ashley, your arch rival. She's totally evil, but you can't help but be filled with jealousy. She can get anything she wants and she knows it. Hello. Ashley! Who has, like, eight too many uh, letters in your name. Oh, I didn't see you there, chicken shins. You leave us blessed shins alone. They are perfectly normal shins. How dare you? How dare you insult my shins? Ugh, you can't stand Ashley. Even her name is annoying. You know for a fact that it's actually Ashley, but she had to add extra letters to make herself feel better than everyone. <laughs> stupid Ashley. She's got stupid, stupid, nice hips. Stupid little heart thing on her chest. She's got stupid pretty eyes and stupid nice hair that probably smells really nice. What? <laughs> stupid pretty lips. If anyone here knows what perfect shins looks like, it's us. We're not going to let you and your really weird insults get to us. How dare you insult my shins? 
Across the quad, you see Ashley's best friend, Van Van, the man man. <laughs> when I got up this morning, I did not know I would be playing a Colonel Sanders game, and nor would I be saying the words, Van Van, the man man. <laughs> Dang. 10 out of 10. 10 out of 10 game of the year. <laughs> okay. Across the quad, you see Ashley's best friend, Van Van the Man Man, has stopped to look at his own reflection in the mirror. His pants are so tight, you can see him casually working out his glutes while he styles his hair. Nope. No lie. They're rockin' glutes. Oh dear. Ahem. <clears throat> Van Van. <laughs> Hold on, we don't have time to unpack all that. He's got an apron over his bare chest, wearing a leather jacket, and his hair is in the shape of a star. Look at this dude. Ah, look at the top of his head. Look at his lips. <laughs> oh. You rang rang. You've never been sure what their arrangement is, but as long as you've known them, Ashley and Van Van have been just as close as you and Miriam, but substantially more devious. Her face! Her face! His face! My face! Dude, that belt buckle! Where are you from, Final Fantasy? <laughs> oh boy. Oh crap. I hope I don't have to do all that again. That would suck. I can't believe that University of Cooking School Academy for Learning would allow people like you to attend as students. You guys look like you belong in a fighting game! I know, right? You think they'd just hand us our diplomas now? Or maybe hire us on as professors. You amateurs could learn a lot from us. With the first day of school about to start, there's just not enough time to properly tell these two off, so you resist the urge. Let's go, Miriam. Shh. See you later, losers. Cute. What's in that juice box? Is Capri Sun? As you approach the door, you see a goofy-looking kid pushing hard against the window directly next to it. Oh. Pop. Oh. Uh. Oopsie. I think it's broken. You reach forward and easily pull the door open. Oh. Um, that should do the trick. I love you. Oh, I think you mean thank you. My name is Pop. I was named after my Pop Pop. He's old. Could someone like this also be a student at the school? He must be one heck of a chef. Also, his name tag clearly says Bob, but I guess he's reading it upside down. Oh, you sweet summer child. I'm not a child. I'm actually 42. Hi, Pop. I'm Espoir, so... Are you going to make me hold this door all day? Nope. And with that, the young man walks into the building ahead of you. Aww. Is it just me, or is he kind of cute? I think it's just you. No, no, he's, he's pretty cute. Just like, oh, lo look at him. Oh, look at him go. Look at him stirring his little mixing bowl. Oh. You both shrug your shoulders before following him into the building. You stand at the edge of the room, unsure where to sit. Other students wander in and keep themselves busy chit-chatting. Ah! Ow. A scruffy-looking poosh. Poosh. Can't read. A scruffy-looking pooch takes his place at a podium at the front of the class. Adorable. Mr. Sprinkles. Now, now, quiet down, everyone. Who is this unreasonably cute pup, and why is he in our culinary class? You must be Sprinkles, head instructor and CEO of UCS. A.L. I'd prefer when they just say the whole name out. U.C.S. A.L. Please, call me Professor Dog. I may be cute and little and fluffy, but I still demand respect. Meow. What? A cute dog is our professor? This is the best school ever! I guess only a dog's nose is capable of picking up on all the nuances of fine dining. Alright. Alright, game, you get a pass for that. Out of nowhere, wind begins to rush around you as a swirl of cherry blossom petals fill the air inside the classroom. <laughs> I'm chilly. Someone closed a window. And then... He walks in. No. No. 
No, 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 no. Why is he so hot? Oh, his eyes are gray? Mm. I will not simp for Colonel Sanders. I will not. You will not do this to me, game. You're immediately swept up in the aura of this new student and his remarkable goatee. Who knew anyone could be so handsome? Time stands still. It's him! It's him! If it isn't my favorite student, Harland. Colonel Sanders interrupts Sprinkles, sorry, Professor Dog, before he can finish his sentence. Please, call me Colonel. <coughs> Colonel Sanders. A hushed murmur rolls to the classroom as Colonel Sanders walks down the aisle of desks. Suddenly, the room is sweltering. Why are you doing this, Colonel? Why are you doing this to us? Gosh darn it! Sweat begins to beat across your brow. You feel like everyone is looking at you, and you're not entirely wrong. <sighs> and this over here must be sweaty sweats a lot. Maybe we should open the window back up before faucet pits melts into a puddle and evaporates entirely. Shh! Touch your mouth, you JoJo character! Hold on a second, nobody talks to my friend like that! You two both know my name. We were in the same kindergarten class. And what is with all your really weird insults? Besides, when it's splash wets, it's not gross, it's beautiful. Look at that shimmer. Thank you, Miriam. Thank you. Take a moment to clean yourself up. It's a good thing you didn't forget about the deodorant this morning. This classroom is hot, hot, hot. Professor Dog steps in to settle the class down and set some ground rules. Welcome to University of Cooking School Academy for Learning, the greatest culinary academy in the world. The birthplace of culinary legends past, present, and future. Many challenges await you. There will be tears, there will be blood, there might even be really adorable tiny food. And when all is said and done, there will be a battle. You will lift your sporks and compete in the broom... broom cooking arena? Broom? Broom, broom. All right. Whatever you say, Professor Dog. Just then, another student enters the classroom and interrupts the professor's rousting speech. Rousing. Rousing speech. Rousting. Rousing speech. Oh. Hey, guys. Sorry I'm late. I hope everyone had a good summer. I really miss- Quiet! Late to class is bad enough, but interrupting my monologue. You're on the fast track out of here, young man. Are you sure you're even in the right place? Aw. Don't you recognize me? This is my third year in this school with you as my teacher. Aw, is he Mr. Forgettable? Everyone stares at him blankly. Does no one remember me? I'm- You're expelled if you utter one more word before I finish! Aw. Let that be a lesson to you students that tardiness is unacceptable! Unacceptable! Even Clank made it here on time, rolling halfway across town on his tiny wheels. You turn to see the student Sprinkles is referring to, who appears to be some sort of industrial kitchen appliance. What? Mekizawa? Is that Mekizawa from Cromarty High School? It's Mekizawa. He's not a robot. I don't know what you're talking about. He's not a robot. Mechazawa is the coolest kid in school. He's not a robot. He demands respect. <laughs> the class bursts into laughter. Oh, Clank, you rascal. Sprinkles walks in the classroom as everyone stands in silent obedience. When he gets to you, he lifts his nose into the air and takes a deep sniff. Hmm. <laughs> Your diet is lacking. Based on what I'm picking up, you definitely need multivitamin. You should be taking better care of yourself. I take my vitamins. Except for this morning, when I forgot. <laughs> You've never had a talking dog as a teacher before, but Sprinkles' reputation for being smart but tough is well known. You decide to try and butter him up by giving him a treat from your pocket, but what kind? A beef treat? A rubber ball? Oh, I don't know. In a KFC game, maybe I should give him a chicken snack. It'd be hilarious if that wasn't the choice you're supposed to choose. <laughs> you reach beneath your apron and return with a chicken snack in your hand. Sprinkles' eyes go wide as he locks onto it. His favorite. Well, 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 I think there might be some competition for new star student. Mm. The furry professor immediately devours the snack, leaving your hand slick with a coating of warm doggy drool. Aw, Popple. 
You see the other students eyeing you jealously, but pay no mind to them. If they wanted to succeed in life, they should have learned the importance of carrying a range of dog treat flavors on them at all times. Not... not a bad... not a bad advice, actually, you know? Settle down, young chefs. Take your seats and prepare to have your minds open to the amazing possibilities of culinary creation. I already have my mind open to the, the possibilities of Colonel Sanders being flippin' hot. As everyone rushes to claim their favorite seats, you're left standing at the front of the room. Only two options remain. Hey, Espoa, there's still a seat here. It seems that no one has claimed this seat next to me, if you're interested. Oh, no!